Well, hey guys, LPS Marcus here for the LPS Marcus Room Tour 2017. I know you're just seeing a white door, but it's for my room. And I, I'm going to reveal my room by opening this door. So here's my room. When you walk into my room, you see a basic overview. And here's the basic overview of my room. You see, uh, you know, my bed, my LPS, and everything. And we're going to go through all that. Let's go over you anyways. When you first get on my desk, it is kind of messy. Sorry about that. You see my laptop. And then behind it, there's two hockey trophies, which are one when I uh, used to play hockey back when I was younger. So when you move my chair away from my desk, under there is my record collection. I'm not going to go through that, though, because that would be, um, I don't know. It's not LPS related and, you know, too much of a hassle to go through because it is a room tour video. I want to show everything in my room, not my record collection. It could be a separate video if you guys want to see that, but I doubt it'd be on this channel. But now, next to my record collection, we have this red box. And I'll show you guys what's in this red box. I'll take it up to some better lighting and we'll see what's in it. So now, in this red box is my duplicate LPS. And please don't comment, oh, say you want this uh, Persian cat, please don't comment. Can I have that Persian cat for free? So I'm not giving these away, alright? Sorry if that sounded angry, but I'm not giving these away. I might, I could possibly be going to LPS Con Canada this year. Their Canadian one this year, which is in Alberta, which is... I went to Toronto, so I could go to Alberta, you know? But, um, there's all my duplicates in there. There's, um... No, like, really rare LPS, like, duplicate Great Danes or Cocker Spaniels, so I'm not gonna go through it, just the Persian Cats and, you know, more common ones that you would find. So, I'll put the top back on that, and I'll try and, if I go to LPS Con this year, if there's no high school exams when LPS Con is, then, as I said, I will be going there whenever it is, and trying to trade my LPS then, because I could get some better LPS in my collection for them. I could trade the whole box for Great Dane, I don't know. Sorry for the bad lighting, but more on my desk, inside my desk. We have some of my signatures, I might give those away when I hit, I don't know, if I hit a thousand subs or something, I'd give away my autograph, I don't really know. But anyways, um, and there's just my diary, journal type thing where I can just plan out videos and stuff. On the table, this wood table. Next to my desk, we have my record player, me and my brothers, which we share, along with the receiver, which, you know, helps turn on the record player for the speakers for it and stuff. But down here is my LPS playsets, which I'm not going to go through, because I can do that in my collection video, which I will do later on this year. Not to mention, under the record player, when I move it, under here, this thing opens, and that's where my memory box is. I have things from when I was, like, two years old to, like, when I was not even a year old in there. So it's pretty cool stuff in there, just from my memory box, though. Maybe stuff you guys wouldn't find cool, but stuff I would find cool, because, you know, past memories. Fun fact is that I film on the floor, I used to film on the table, but when we got the record player, I could no longer film up there. And I'll show you guys where I store my accessories, actually, in a minute here. But anyways, here's a quick overview of the LPS collection. I even have two LPS puzzles, one with the LPS in it. I don't think that one came with a pet. And just a quick overview of the collection. I'll show it fully in detail, in depth, when I do another collection video at the end of this year. I'm not showing the other side of the room because it is my brother's side, but I will show one thing over here, which is my, um, where I store my LPS accessories. I store it on this three bin plastic shelf thingy. And yeah, I store all my furniture and stuff for videos in there because I cannot store it on the table as, you know. You know, the record player is there, so there's no space to film on there, no space to put my furniture there. Now, here are my curtains, guys. They have just hockey team logos on them. And if you look outside, you can't really see it. You just see the reflection because of how dark it is. The light reflecting off the window because it is nighttime. And you already saw, but my room walls are a light blue, sky blue color. I like the color. When I went to a friend's birthday party when I was younger, I saw her bedroom and her walls were that color. And I don't know, I like the color. It reminded me of the sky and stuff and rainbows and, you know. So I wanted my room walls like that. Here's my um second window here with black curtains. So they're different than the NHL curtains or the hockey curtains. I'm kind of, I don't know, they don't really match the other curtains. It's kind of weird. I don't know. But anyways, here are my, uh, I have some LPS figurine thingies in the window. 
And there's no point in looking outside because it is night, so you can't see anything right now. It's like pitch black out. It's only like 8 o'clock, too, and it's pitch black out. So, by my bed, guys, we have a wrestling calendar. Then up above, I'm not going to show it because it's a picture of me and my friend on, like, it's a parody of a cover of a newspaper. It's from one time when we ran a marathon. A big local marathon in our city, anyways. I don't want to show it because I haven't done a face reveal yet, so I'm not going to show that. And I don't know if my friend will want me to show that either. Anyways, yeah, just a wrestling poster, which I got for Christmas. I usually get posters for Christmas. And, um, yeah. I don't really mark anything down. I could mark down, like, when I should record videos, but I'm not sure. But as I said, just a calendar. So we've done the curtains, guys. Here's my bed itself. It's just a wood bed at the front, like most beds, you know. But, um, the blankets kind of have, like, an animal pattern on them. And then under it, we have a sheet with kind of, like, a flower pattern. And I have different sheets I use in the winter, but these are the sheets I'm using right now. And, uh, yeah, it's basically what's on my bed, then here's the end of it. And I'll show that. So here at the end of my bed, one sec, let me just make the bed. And at the end, then we have just my LPS plushies on the shelf there. And that's basically all there is near my bed. Behind it, you can probably see that cover. It's covered with an LPS book. And that is... Because I store my LPS books in that little shelf there. Then I should have an LPS board game I found at a thrift store there. And a bunch of random stuff. Then a bunch of it is under its just crap that I could probably go through and throw away. But I'm admitting that there's stuff there that I could probably throw away. But you know, my bed's in the way, so I'll do that eventually when I move my bed, ever, if I do. So, that's behind my bed. We've seen the front of my bed, most of the shelves, the windows. So there's not a lot to show, but I'll show the rest of my room now. Floor near my bed, you can see my robe, which is what I use or wear when I sleep. And then we have um, my room floor. It's just a dark wood floor, as you can tell. It's kind of obvious, but, you know, I just need to point that out. And, uh, yeah, there it is. But this is only my side of the room, so it's not really the whole, whole room, but it is my room, technically, because it's my side. I will not be showing the other side, because it's just my brother's side. Here's a blue beanbag chair that I usually sit in when I play video games. I didn't use either some LPS video games. I do have other video games like NHL, but it's not really worth going through a lot of video games. So I'll just show you guys these LPS video games. But um, I do have a pretty cool shelf for the games. Pretty long, as you can see. And it fits a lot of games. So it's definitely a good shelf. I would recommend a shelf life kit if you are going to store video games. It'd even be good for storing LPS or something like that. But it's definitely good for video games. Over by my closet... And there's a Michael Jackson poster right there. It's pretty cool, but... By my closet, before we get right to it, we have um, an LPS, like, travel bag, or carry bag. Like, I used it at the hotel vlog when I was bringing in my LPS. And here's my bag for school. I call it the banana bag, because it's bright yellow. So, yeah, it makes sense. And then here's all my clothes in my closet. The only thing, as I said, worth... Showing you guys directly is the LPS Marcus shirt, which you can't really see that much, but there it is, sitting in my closet. I kind of took it out a bit. Then, that's basically my closet. My closet walls are obviously the same color, and a white ceiling like the rest of the room. So the main colors in my room are definitely, even the trim around the, like, you know what a trim is, like that white stuff around the wall. It goes around the trim and, like, ceiling stuff is white. So the main colors in my room are definitely light blue and white. So that's all there is for my closet, but there's actually an NBA net on top of my door. Not like a real basketball net, just a toy one. I used to shoot on one a lot when I was little. So, yeah, it's from like maybe two years ago or so. I wasn't that little, but it's still kind of old. Basically my whole room, guys. So thank you for watching this kind of short room tour. But I hope you enjoyed, and uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe and... Peace out, guys. Peace.